So welcome back. Uh, last time we left off, we installed the upper and lower control arms, put the springs back in and put the uh, spindle with the hub on. And I reinstalled the uh, Kony uh, red shocks and we put the uh, ball joints with the, and greased them up. So next we're gonna put the rotor on put a couple of the uh, lug nuts on just to hold the rotor in place, then put the caliper abutment and then the caliper on and connect the uh, brake hose. And then um, once that's done, I'm gonna fill the, uh, the reservoir with uh, brake fluid. Um, instead of doing bench bleeding, taking it all apart, I'm gonna do it in car bleeding. It's not as easy, but it still will work. So for now, we're just gonna do the uh, rotors and caliper install and then we'll go from so there. Here's the AC Delco front rotor from a uh, it's a C6 Z51 rotor it's 13.39 inches or something like that I'm just gonna slide it on and put a couple of lug nuts on just to hold it in place. And now we're gonna get the uh, caliper abutment This is the Z51 caliper ab abutment I got from uh, core3.com um so we're just gonna put it in place and with the uh bolt and put a little bit of a uh loctite on it just to keep them in place and then we'll put the pads on then we'll put the caliper on top of it and then we'll connect the holes okay, so here's the bolts that came with the uh, calipers i bought from ebay they were a complete caliper set from the 2012 base corvette and in order to fit the Z51 brakes, you had to use the Z51 abutment brackets. So um, that's why the uh, different bracket, but it's the same basic caliper body uh, for the base and the Z51. So right now, I'm just gonna install the abutment bracket on and go from there. The other one. And those are the factory bolts that came with the calipers I got. And it's a 20, 21 millimeter bolt. Just tighten it. We'll tighten it up to spec afterwards. The steering is not connected yet, so the hub will go all the way around. Next, we're just gonna slide the pads on. These are the pads. So um, the inner one has this tab on, the outer one doesn't. Um, so we're gonna get some um, lubricant, put it in the back of the pads so they won't make any noise.
we'll just we'll just smear it on a little bit and spread it around. We'll just put it like this. And then the pad with the tab on it goes on the inside. And it would slide right in. That's there. It's all good. And then we'll get the uh, caliper. And this one, the caliper is, as you can see, the pistons are out there. So we're going to get the uh, C clamp um, and clamp it in. I'm going to put something on top of it so it doesn't push to one side. Um, so let me go get the C clamp, press that in. So what I'm going to do is, I got this old wrench that I'm going to put over the piston. So it will compress it completely. And then we're just gonna just gonna press it until it bottoms out pretty much. Until it bottoms out. And we'll just take it out. Go to the other piston. Okay, that's it. Now, there was a little bit of fluid in there from whoever owned it before me. They sent it, but it's all right. Slide the caliper over the, the button bracket. The uh, bleeder screw is up top. And once they're in finger tight, we'll get the 15 millimeter wrench. Um, 15 millimeter socket and 18 millimeter wrench to hold the uh, to hold it in place and then tighten it with the uh, 15 millimeter. the lower one okay so now that the caliper is in we're gonna go and uh, install the uh, hose I have the hose already it's a stainless steel uh, braided stainless steel hose that I've installed last year. I'm just gonna connect it to the caliper and then uh, 
the brake install will be done short of uh, bleeding it we'll do the bleeding afterwards i gotta fill out like i said i gotta fill it out with fluid and then um bench bleed or probably gonna bleed on the car it's not worth taking it out i'll bleed the uh, master on the car um and then uh, we'll do uh, bleed all four corners and then brakes will be done and then the only thing i got left is the inner inner outer tie rod ends the center link and once those are done we'll do a quick um home alignment just so i can drive it to the shop to get a real alignment done so um now get the parts for the uh the banjo bolt and uh, washers for the uh, hose and we'll install that so here's the hose and there's a spot in there for the holes to be connected but the way this was set up the fitting is at an angle i don't want to force it to go flat so i'm just going to have to loosen it up here and rotate it a little bit so it will line up perfectly with the uh, caliper before i uh, put the uh, banjo bolt in so that's what i'm going to so do now it's 11 16 on the big end and i got the 3 8 um saw uh, wrench for the flared fitting um to loosen it up i just want to loosen it up just enough so i can turn the hose to face straight with the uh mounting pad for the uh caliper and then tighten it back up and it's it's Perfect on the pad. I'm just going to the, the new uh, banjo bolt. I'll, pull, I'll bolt that in. Uh, washers on both sides of the uh, um, hose. And then I'll tighten the fitting back there, and that side will be done. After tightening the hose to the caliper, I realized we have a problem. The aftermarket hoses meant for the uh, stock F-body uh, caliper are a little too short for the Corvette caliper. And when I turn the uh, knuckle all the way with the suspension drooping, this thing is as tight as a piano string. So I don't think that's gonna work. So I have to see if I can find another hose that is slightly longer. This thing is 15 inches end to end. I'm probably gonna need something that's about 18 inches to be able to flex and move around with the caliper without uh, breaking apart from uh, stretching as far as it could. So. There's our uh, is a problem I need to address, so I'm not gonna bother with uh, filling it with fluid because it's all gonna come back out again. So that should be it for now. I gotta go order some parts and we'll be back. In the meantime, my next step would be down below. I've taken apart all the steering components with the exception of the one coming off the uh, steering box. I'm gonna work on that one next, take it out and assemble the new parts while the uh, brake hoses are on order. See you later. So I went online to Summit's website and searched and I found the 2012 Corvette uh, brake line, front brake lines, and I ordered a set of those. And they're about three inches longer than the uh, lines for the uh, 74 Trans Am. This is um, one of the lines so I'm just gonna open it up right now and check the they didn't have the specs on this end it looks like it's the same on the new one um, but I'm hoping it will be the same it should be 3 8 by 24 so we'll see just gonna take it apart pull one of them out and just compare should be about 18 inches. 
Now this is a little longer, which means it's gonna work. And just to make sure it works, I have one of the old lines there. This is the old one versus new one. It's about three inches longer. So for test purposes, let's see. This is a 3 8 by 24 fitting, which the old one fits to. Let's see if the new one is going to fit. If it does, then this is going to work. Yep. The new one goes in there too. So this will work out perfect. I'll just hook this one up to the, uh, to the existing line on the car and then uh, this will work. It'll give me a little more flexibility, a little more stretch. So uh, I'm going to find that clip to put it in place and then we'll hook up this line to the caliper and the hard line on the so car. Here's the clip that goes in the bracket here over the hose. So it's kind of, this is the old hose. We're going to take it out. That's the old hose. I'm gonna get the new one. We'll put the banjo bolt and I'll put the other end in. The kit did come with all new banjo bolts, even though the ones on the car were brand new, but I'll just use the ones that came with the kit. Um, the other advantage of this one is the hose is slightly angled at the bracket end, so it will be, uh, um, It'll be a little better because the other one was straight out and it was just pressed against the uh, caliper when I tightened it. So I'll put this one in and then we'll hook the other end up. The new banjo bolt is a 12 millimeter head. came off of a Corvette. They all have metric fittings, so they figured they use metric heads. So on the other hand, on the other side, I'll just go through the hole in the frame for the mount. It's in. And the last part, I'll tighten it. And that's the little fitting that will hold the uh, Holes in place. It goes in here. And will sit right there. It's a tight fit. It needs a little persuasion to go in, but that basically goes in there. To hold this hose in place. And I'll have to get a hammer, small hammer to just push it in place. But that's basically it. I got, right now I got enough movement all the way. It's not interfering with anything. So, and it's not uh, stretching or anything. So it's pretty good. I might put a little hose here so it doesn't rub against the upper control arm, but that's basically it. We're just gonna tighten that end and all the uh, plumbing is done on the brakes. Um, as far as bleeding, I'm just gonna do uh, in-car bleeding. It's not as probably easy as bench bleeding, but it'll do for now. So, thanks.